Okay. Good. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Ness is Ness and welcome back to my pregnancy update. I know it's been a while and I'm sorry for that, uh, but lately my life has been a little bit busy with Iris walking around and everything, so I don't have much time. I'm 24 weeks now and I haven't made a pregnancy update since my 20 weeks, that's when we found out it's a boy, but I will try to resume all those weeks in this video because um, there wasn't too much going on, too much of a difference uh, on 21st and 22nd weeks. These last two weeks I have something more to say about them. So let's start. The baby is weighing now more than a pound, uh, around 600 grams and it's the size of a corn of cob. So it's pretty big, it's like something like this maybe. Um, and I feel it kicking all the time. It's kicking, it's moving, I don't know what he's doing inside but definitely moving a lot which is always a good sign because it's a sign that the baby is healthy and is active um, I feel it moving more when I'm in bed at night when I'm trying to sleep yeah that's when he moves more and around 6 a.m. in the morning he wakes up and uh, I have to eat something because he really doesn't stop until I eat something my bump has grown a lot since 20 weeks actually the last two weeks we see a major difference it's like I'm a proper pregnant woman <laughs> with a big big baby bump uh, but I feel great uh, I haven't gained too much weight until now I just I, I think I put about one kilo two pounds for each month which is not bad and I'm not feeling um, too heavy I don't have uh, any swelling on my hands or my feet for now. One thing that it's really getting affected by this pregnancy, it's my skin. I usually have combined skin, so I have uh, more oily skin on the T-zone, which is this one, but in this pregnancy I've been having a lot of spots and... sorry. <laughs> I've been having a lot of spots and blackheads as well so today I tried to, to um, exfoliate a little bit and have had a, and had a face mask it helped and I'm feeling much better now the sciatic pain I used to have um, I still do not so often but when I do so, some heavy work around the house I tend to be struggling with the sciatic pain by the end of the day um, but it's just the way it is I have to handle it and I have to learn how to rest a little bit more which is not easy with a um, 14 months baby uh, because Iris is walking all through the house and wants to go up and down the stairs so I have to keep up with that which is good it makes me active <laughs> it always helps to go and have some walks with my dog Roxy um, she makes me walk a little bit and that's good one thing that I have been feeling these last uh, weeks it's a, a pressure down on my um, pelvic bone I think you call it that pelvic bone which I feel like it's opening or cracking sometimes and I've been struggling with that for the last two weeks although these past few days it has been very much softer um, but I really feel like something is pressuring down there if you know what I mean and probably is the baby that it's already fitting into the pelvic bone uh, which is not so bad although it's a little early um, but I'm sure that's fine I was supposed to talk to my midwife about it but then it got a little softer and I think he's uh, coming upwards again he's coming a little bit more to the up side of the belly so I don't feel it so much only by the end of the day of course that I'm a little bit more tired and I feel more that pressure down there especially when I lay down or I sit down and then I get up it's like, like a weight 
has been put on my uh, pelvic bone. I've been sleeping a lot better now, apart from the toilet wake-ups, <laughs> that are a lot. Um, and I haven't been able to evict Iris from my bed uh, for good, but we made some progress and she started to sleep in her sister's bedroom. Uh, she's not staying there for the whole night for now, uh, usually in the middle of the night or like 3 or 4 in the morning she wakes up and we take her to our bed so we can sleep as well so and that's the only way she can settle uh, but we're getting there and I'm getting a few hours of sleep without her in my bed which is good because I have more space to myself and my bump I'm not a very organized person so I've been struggling a little bit and I'm feeling a lot of pressure to reorganize my home and I'm doing, I've been doing that for the last two weeks. I think I must be nesting, I'm sure I am, because I'm, I've been organizing things like cupboards and decluttering everything, uh, kids clothes, Yara and Iris clothes, my and Victor clothes, so I want to have it more organized so when the baby comes I won't have so much stress on myself because I think it will not be easy with three kids and two under two so moms tell me what you think how do you do it I really really appreciate some tips on how to organize I have been seeing lots of videos about that uh, that I really love and I've been have they have really good ideas that I'm putting to practice in my, ho my home, I've uh, been decluttering and organizing and trying to sort things. Yes, I think I must be nesting. I never felt this need like this so much uh, when I was pregnant before, but this time I really want to have things sorted and more organized so that when the baby comes, uh, everything will be easier. Another thing that I'm feeling lately, it's a little bit of anxiety. Um, I think that that's usual in uh, it's my third pregnancy and Iris is just 14 months and I just realized that I only have about three months until the baby's born and I still haven't bought practically anything for him I, I know that sounds crazy as soon as we find the gender usually we start buying and buying stuff but I had not worried about it until now but now I'm feeling a little bit of anxiety, I'm starting to think how this will go, if I will be able to take Iris out from my bed into her sister's be a bedroom, if I will be successful in that, if she will be alright, I think she will be really really jealous as well, uh, because she is already jealous with her sister, but let's see how it goes. Okay guys, that's pretty much all for today. I'll show you my bump. Uh, I hope you liked this video and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up with my videos and more pregnancy updates are coming until the baby is born. And thanks for watching, bye!